Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Today I will show you how to disable search indexing on Windows 10 to help speed up and increase the performance of your PC. To get to disabling the search indexing, navigate to your File Explorer. In File Explorer under this PC, you will see your hard drive, or in my case, I have two hard drives, my OS and my data. Now, in this phase of what I'm going to show you, you can actually do this from Windows XP right through to Windows 10. What you do is you right click on your drive, you want to disable the search indexing on. You go down to properties, you click on that. Now we are in the properties for your hard drive. If you go down to the bottom, you'll see you allow file properties on this drive to have contents indexed in addition to file properties. You want to uncheck that. And when you uncheck it, just follow all the prompts. So, for example sake, um, I can't do it now because I've already disabled mine. But if it, it will ask you if you want to do all subfolders and stuff like that, you say yes to that. And then if it has any prompts that come up after that, just say ignore all and then it will run its course. Depending on the size of your hard drive, it will disable the contents indexing. And depending on the size of your hard drive and how many files you have, it will it, take a period of time and then it will just finish up on itself. And when it's finished, you will see that that box is unchecked and then you just click OK. Now, what search indexing does is it is basically a service that runs in the background that helps to index your files for quicker, to find them quicker when you search for them. So if you are a person who has a lot of documents and doesn't know where your documents and, and stuff is on your computer, rather leave this alone. It's not worth it because then it's going to slow down that process. But if you are someone like me who knows where files and folders are on my computer, and I don't use my search, searching for files and folders heavily on my computer. I don't need this activated. I don't need this, this on. So I deactivate this. So it, just so it, 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 it stops all those files from being contents indexed in the background. And then obviously, if that's not happening all the time, then obviously I will have more resources and less cycles on my CPU being used. And it speeds up your computer. And... Yeah, so that's the, this phase of the of, of the search indexing. Now, as I say, this now applies. You can do this from Windows XP right through to Windows 10 with this. Now, the next step I want to show you, if we just X out of there, in Windows 10 now, if you go to your settings, navigate there, and you go to your search in settings, click on that. Now, you will see here that I have deactivated my work or school account. Now, I basically have a rule of thumb on my PC. If I'm not using it, I deactivate it. It just helps me. There's less clutter. It's less possibility of things running in the background on Windows. And I get a much more better performance out of my PC and a better user experience. So if you're not using your work or school account, turn that off. Next, on the left here, go to search in Windows. And I always, well, I think but by default, Windows has this set to Classic, but you can just check this. Make sure this is always set to Classic if you're not using Search a lot and not Enhanced, because it even says here, this, if you set it to Enhanced, this option may be reduced, may, this option may reduce your battery life and increase CPU consumption. So if CPU consumption is being increased, it will slow down your computer. So you won't have enough, you won't have power for all the stuff you really want to do with your PC. But obviously, if you are using search a lot, then keep this enhanced ticked. If you're not like me, keep it to classic. Now, the last thing I want to show you on Windows 10 is just go down to the bottom here and search in Windows. And under more search indexer settings, you'll see advanced search indexer settings. You can actually get to this in the control old legacy control panel as well. Click on that. And then you can see here, if you click on modify at the bottom on the modify tab, At the top here, you will see your hard drives. And if you click on your hard drive, my, do, my data drive, for example sakes, I have only ticked what I want to be found when I search. So my videos, pictures, music, downloads, I've unchecked backup. Okay, and then on my C drive, if I go there, I don't have my program files ticked. I've unchecked all the stuff except if I go into my users. 
then you will see I have my documents, my Google Drive folder, and my OneDrive folder, everything else I've unchecked. And if you really want to be hardcore, you can actually uncheck everything. And show all locations, you go down to show all locations, and then you uncheck everything. And then you just push OK, and close, and everything is, is, is not indexed anymore. And this actually, if you do this, let's just go back here, and just do that again. If you go to modify, and you really want to increase the performance of your PC, and if you don't use search at all, uncheck everything. Sorry, you go down to show all locations, uncheck everything, push OK, close, and that will help increase your performance on your PC even more. Anyway, I, found, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it wasn't too long and drawn out. And once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.